And so we've got the practice problems here. Uh, Kim uses four and four fifth inches of ribbon to make three belts for her Barbie doll. How many doll belts can Kim make with 24 inches of ribbon? So we've got to take a look at our labels first and see what we can pull out of here. So it looks like we've got four and four fifths inches of ribbon to make three belts. And so those will be our two labels. How many belts? And so belts is red. We got to keep it red. Doll belts is what we're looking for. We don't know. That's our X value. And we have 24, oops, that should be blue, 24 inches of ribbon. So our labels match, our colors match. We will have a proportion that has inches in the numerator and belts in the denominator. So we are going to have uh, four and four fifths inches. Let me redo that so it's a little bit neater. Makes three belts. How many doll belts? We don't know. So that's our X value for 24 inches of ribbon. Now in the examples uh, that we were doing earlier, I waited until later to change that mixed number four and four into a improper fraction. I'm going to do that right out of the gate this time. So four and four fifths, I'm going to rewrite it as 24 over five. That's an equivalent fraction. Uh, so if, and if you need help um, going through how to convert that mixed number into an improper fraction, um, Go ahead and ask your teacher how to do that. That should be something we can handle. And uh, or I can run through it really quickly, just remembering the G method that five times four is 20 plus four is 24. And so we would have uh, 24 over five uh, instead. So we would cross multiply that and we would get 24 over five times X equals three times 24, which would give us 24 over five, X equals 72. And so what we need to do at this point is divide both sides by 24 over five. And again, you can do that in your calculator, I believe by doing um, 72 divided by 24 over five. And I'm going to take a moment to use my calculator to do that. And so what I get from doing that is I get 15. So X is equal to 15. And so it looks like from our work here that uh, Kim will be able to make 15 doll belts um, using 24 inches of ribbon. So. I will pause this here for I'll pause right here for a moment so you can take notes or ask questions and then we'll move on to number two. So we've got that Oscar takes 30 minutes to make three eighths of a birdhouse. I'm not sure how you measure three eighths of a birdhouse, but that's okay. So looks like we've got minutes and birdhouses. So enter the time in minutes, and so minutes is what we are missing. That's going to be our X value. It would take Oscar to make seven and a half birdhouses. So we've got minutes. Over birdhouses. And so as we set up our proportion, uh, remembering that it's okay to have a fraction in the proportion if we need to. Uh, so we would have 30 minutes. So again, making sure our labels match. The blue stuff goes on top, the red stuff goes on bottom. Three-eighths of a birdhouse. So our fraction three-eighths in the de denominator. Then X minutes is what we are looking for. We don't know that. And it's seven and one-half birdhouses. So as with the last one, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, that seven and one-half right there. 
and I'm going to turn it into an improper fraction just because I think that will be easier for me personally as I work through this problem. So we'll have 30 over 3 eighths is equal to x over, remembering the g method, 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15 over 2. And then this looks complicated and nasty, but it will be okay. Watch, we're just going to do cross multiply like normal. And so we will have 30 times 15 over 2 is equal to 3 eighths times x. And so we will get 30 times 15 over 2 is going to be, that's uh, like 450 over 2. is equal to 3 eighths x. And now again, as with the last time, what we need to do is divide both sides by 3 eighths to figure out what our x value is going to be. And in your calculator, you could probably put 450 over 2 divided by 3 eighths. I'm going to do that and pause while I do. And so we will end up with 600 is equal to x. And I just ran all that through my calculator to get the 600. So it will take 600 minutes, which is about 10 hours, for Oscar uh, to make seven and one half birdhouses. That's it for number two. I'll leave this here for you, you and your teacher to pause if you need to, and then we'll move on to the next. So we've got that Sam uses one half yard of ribbon to trim five pillows. Enter the length of ribbon and yards Sam would need for 15 pillows. So it's a half yard of ribbon uh, to trim five pillows. We're looking for the length of ribbon. So again, matching my colors with my labels, ribbon is blue, pillows is red. We need to find the amount of ribbon Sam would need for 15 pillows. And so what we are going to have is a proportion with ribbon in the numerator and pillows in the denominator. So we will have, <clears throat> uh, let's get the proportion set up first. One half yard of ribbon for five pillows. And we don't know how much ribbon, so X for 15 pillows. So as we've done before, all that we're going to do now is cross multiply and divide these numbers to get our solution. So we'll have one half times 15 is equal to five times x. So we get, uh, I'll leave it as a fraction, 15 over 2. You could rewrite that as 7.5 if you wanted to. Equals 5 times oh, 5x. And so the last piece of this, we're going to divide by 5. And again, you could put in your calculator 15 over 2 divided by 5. I'm going to do that. And I get 1.5. So uh, 1.5, oops. Is equal to x. Another way to write that, um, if you were to do the division the normal way, uh, would be 15 over 10 is what my fraction would end up being. Or uh, if I was to simplify that, I would get 3 over 2. So all of those are acceptable answers, the 3 over the three over 2, the 15 over 10, or the 1.5. They are all the same number, just written in a different way. So I will stick with my original answer, my 1.5, and that's what I'm going to 
leave you with. So there's that one. Feel free to pause. I'm going to move on to the next problem. And we've got that it takes Kim three quarters of an hour to walk 18 blocks. Enter the time in hours. So we don't know how many hours. That's going to be our x value. It would take Kim to walk six blocks. And so it looks like we are comparing hours to blocks. So our proportion will have hours as our numerator and blocks as our denominator. And so what we will have is it will be 3 quarters of an hour. Let's get my proportion set up here. To walk 18 blocks. And we don't know how many hours to go six blocks. So as we've done in the past at this point, all we need to do is cross multiply and divide. So we've got three fourths times six is equal to 18 times x. And we will have uh, three fourths times six is going to be 18 over four is equal to 18x. The last piece is going to be to divide both sides by 18. So we can get the value of that variable. And as we've talked about previously, we can just put in our calculator 18 over 4 divided by 18. And what we're going to get uh, is 1 fourth. And so it will take Kim one-fourth of an hour to walk six blocks.